Hey. Hi, Star. I'm so sorry I'm late. I just got back from the gym. Oh, okay. Cool. cool. <laughs> Literally. I went, I, went, I went yesterday. I might go after our um, after our conversation today. Um, I'm pretty sure it's going to motivate me to like, want to go. Um, yes. Because I want to go to the gym for sure. Oh, God. By fucking plan. Mine put in the, mine put in I my shouldn't. sleep right now. <laughs> I can't pull mine out, you know, because, you know, the fans be watching, Big Brother be watching, you know. Now Don't be fresh as hell. Facebook ads are going to be full of, like, you know, <laughs> gun conventions and gun shows. <laughs> That's how Big Brother be watching. <laughs> That's true. It was the gym. So, like, what did, what did you, um, what you get done doing at the gym? So today I uh, focused on my inner thighs and my back. Okay. So I did a lot of like the pull downs and then I took like a 40 pound weight and I just dipped and dipped, dipped, dipped my, did my inner thighs so I could keep yeah. them tight. Cause you know, I'm getting old, sorry. I'm, I'll be 44 this year and I got to keep it tight oh, and stuff. Snap. I know. You know, you know you <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Though. Like I've just started really focusing on uh, my lower body as a target, and like, you know, working on squats and squatting and the dips. But I, like I've noticed that like I can't really do proper squats like that. They are a challenge. And one thing I learned, because what I used to do is with the bar, I would scoop my booty out, and I'm like. Yeah. But recently, like within like the past week, I watched a man tell another man how to do squats. And I watch videos on Pinterest a lot. And he was saying like, once you grab onto the bar, you can like, you have to like move your body up and then you kind of lean back and then you squat okay. like that. Yeah, and I was like, oh, that makes sense. Cause then it works like your upper thighs and in your glutes. So I'm gonna try it next time I go. So, so when you so start forward and then move back and move and like lean back like yep you like take like maybe two steps up from the bar and then you kind of lean back on the bar and that way it'll like fully look like you're like sitting okay 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 yeah give that a shot so when you go to the gym today what are you going to work on um, my lower body, my lower body, because yesterday I did the upper body, like my arm was kind of sore a little bit, like, you know, like up here and then the shoulders, because that was like the main focus. Um, I've been doing a lot more, I'm doing a lot more cardio, like, you know, um, like even with the heart problems and everything, like still just like, I'm fine. Like, I've been working towards like riding, you know, riding a bike and walking the treadmill and you know, some, you know, something with a little level of intensity. Um, so aside from that, in the lower body, I'm going to be sore as hell later on. <laughs> that means it's working. Right, and you made, right. You made a good point because I really am, I, I usually focus on weightlifting. I may do cardio like once or twice a week. And my cardio consists of me getting onto the treadmill and walking for 30 to 45 minutes. And sometimes, depending on how I feel or, or the last time I ate, <laughs> uh, I'll put it on incline. But, you know, I, I need to get back into the bike. I used to ride a bike, but I stopped. I don't know why. I think I probably went to switch gyms or something. I don't know, but I, I think that's a good point. I need to get back into riding a bike. Yeah, yeah, like I started doing it when I started going to this gym, uh, to the Planet Fitness Guys up to now. Um, like, at first I was like scared of it, cause you know, like people be on the bikes, they're mad intense on, on, the, on, the, on, the, on the bike. So I was like, mm, I don't know, but not a lot of people in the morning, like, cause I usually go before I go to work. Not a lot of people be in the gym at all, let alone, you know, like on the bikes. You know? Like the treadmill or the elliptical or the stairs, little stair masters. Do you ever lift weights? Not really, not really. My I always, I always like flop towards the machines, the workout mm -hmm. machines, and then the kettlebells. And the kettlebells are the, the bomb. Yeah. You know what else I love? Resistance bands. I have like 
I every single <laughs> i love them i have like the cloth ones i have the rubber ones i have the ones that you could just i have every single one i have a bunch of them over here because i when i'm in the office i usually will try to do like a little workout and i have the ones where they have they come with the, like the door anchor and mm -hmm, so yeah. yeah so i can That's do my yeah i'm trying to get rid of this you can see my little chunk but <laughs> <laughs> i one thing i don't do is i will never diet i eat whatever i want but I, i'm going to work it off i know that so same. yeah yeah same you know i mean i eat pretty you know pretty clean um it's just a matter of like consistently doing it um just like chips and popcorn you know, that's my weakness and fried chicken <laughs> these are my private selection chips that I, you can't really see but they are sea salt and vinegar and i just bought these yesterday and i don't know why they're on my desk but they are oh, yeah, they're good. right next to me <laughs> but i cannot okay so i cannot what do you consider eating clean um, like avoiding sugar, um, like t in the um, interview that I did with Tony Roberts, like, you know, he talked pretty, you know, extensively about like, you know, not eating sugar, like just going a time period without eating any sugar, any bread, um, dairy, you know, kind of cut that a little bit. Um, yeah, mostly that, like, you know. Do you I don't think know. What, what do you think? So I'm confused about it. Like I really don't know. I feel like eating clean to me would be like a breast, a chicken breast that's mm -hmm. grilled and fruit. But I don't really know because I feel like like me, I need something on top of my chicken and I'm mm -hmm. gonna need like a cheeseburger before I like I'm like the craziest person at, like before I eat, I'm like, I gotta get a cheeseburger. Like, I'll go to Wendy's and get a junior bacon cheeseburger. Like, I need some type of cheeseburger before I even go to a buffet or even mm -hmm. afterwards. Like, even after I eat, like, I need a cheeseburger. I am that girl. And then uh -huh. another thing. Mm -hmm. No, you go ahead. You go ahead. I, uh, I buy Snickers all the time. Like, I can't. <laughs> I got all the you you're hungry. <laughs> yes. And a terrible star. Like, I always, like, I just, but. Well, you hear me all the time on the calls, like, I need a roast beef sandwich. <laughs> I always, like, I do not run out of fresh cut roast beef. And I go mm -hmm. to the store and I get them cut like half pound at a time because I don't, it's not going to go bad even if I get a pound. But I like, I, I feel like it tastes better once it's fresh cut and I get my cheese fresh cut. My mom mm -hmm. said she, my mom said that it's processed meat, but I'm like, how? Like, I don't I know. So. Yeah, yeah. Processed meat, you know, versus like something that's a bit on the clean side. Um, I think roast beef is like considered a processed meat. And I um, tried to look it up, but I feel like I wasn't getting like a definitive answer. Like it was yeah. still confusing me when I read about it. So I was like, I don't even know what the, yeah. Yeah, your guess is as good as mine as far as roast beef specific. Because I know, like, you know, certain, like, turkey breast and ham and stuff like that. That can be made up with, like, a whole lot of, you know, other parts. But, like, roast beef usually comes from a specific cut, so I'm not sure. That's why I was confused. I'm like, Mom, do you know what you're talking about? Then my son wanted to be on her team. Like, yeah, Yanni's right. I'm like, I don't think so. Like, I don't see how like a body of meat that I go and get fresh cut is processed, but it could be. But I just... yeah, the fresh, yeah, in general, like, you you know, there are a lot of deli cuts that is like processed. And that's like something that a lot of people, but I feel like roast beef comes from a certain part of the cow. Like, I don't know about that. Like, yeah. Cause I mean, oh. roast beef is, is a, you know, roast, like it's a roasted, part of the beef and so then it's sliced so i don't know, I don't know. weird to me i'm about to look it up 
Yeah, we gotta look that up. <laughs> yeah, again, like in a different way. Maybe I should ask a different question about it, but I wanna know. But yeah, like if you just get like the generic, I, I, I'm pretty sure like, you know, if you watch them at the deli, if they pull out like, you know, a generic little like chunk of meat, then, you know, maybe that is processed. But like, if it's something that looks like, okay, this looks like a part of a cow and they start slicing that, then I'm like, nah, that's, yeah, that's, that's not processed. Yeah. Huh. But if it's just like a big old pack, you know, of like a, like how the turkey breast be looking at, like, you know, like boar's head, and then they pull out the boar's head pack, and it just looks like it's just a whole bunch of meat just packed together, and you slice it up and call it a turkey breast. It's not, I know it's not a turkey breast. Oh, dang. <laughs> like, and I always, process. I think it is. <laughs> but my brand is Private Selection because. I love private selection, everything. Mm -hmm. Like I'm all about private selection. So oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it, it might be, it might be. You should ask. I should ask. ask next time. I mean, like we gotta, we gotta start calling these, you know, these grocery folks out. Like, you know, hey, like, is that, that real meat? Or is that mystery meat? Like. Yeah, that's a good idea. I should just ask the source. We gotta start doing that. I don't care if I sound like an old person. I would do that or a Karen yeah. or whatever. Like, fuck all that. Because <laughs> yesterday I was tripping off of this lady. She's all like getting like, you know how you talk to the deli person. You're like, I want this. I want that. She's all like, how much is it? I'm like, girl, pick your brand. And you because you it. <laughs> like I when I come, I'm like, I need a half pound of private selection roast beef and a half pound of baby Swiss. Like I know exactly what the fuck I came for. And this lady was all like, mm -hmm. and to me, I feel like I'm getting some natural shit. And she's all like, the price. I'm like, girl, no. Because I feel like I'm getting some, you know. <laughs> but yeah, Star, I am going to get better at eating. Um, I want to start eating more nuts. But when I go to the store, I don't think about buying nuts. But yeah, yeah I'm not that consistent with eating clean. Like if I am thinking about it and I make a whole point and a focus to eat clean, then, yeah, I'll do it. I'll get it done and over with. But it's something about when I go to the gym and I sweat, 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 sweat. I want to eat all that stuff. I want, I feel like I deserved it. I earned it. And there's nothing wrong with putting it in my body because of I how much I sweat it out of me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> or it's like consistency for me. <laughs> or like eating clean to me is like, well, I'm eating at home. Cause I'll go to the store and I'll get stuff and I'll like graham crackers, you know, I didn't get that at the restaurant or the fast food place. Like I got it at the grocery store to me, that's like clean eating. So I don't really know what clean eating is, but yeah. I feel like if you're eating at home, then how harmful could it be to your body? Yeah. Yeah. You never know. You yeah. Know. I mean, like the, the stuff, you know, stuff that's being done to food everywhere, you know? Like, if I had my way, I would grow my own food. Yeah. My own everything. <laughs> uh, yesterday, I went to um, the Jamaican restaurant, and they, they make juices. And so I had one for the first time, and I was like, this is what I want to get into. Mm. Like, if I could just drink the right juices. And look at me, already got in my mind, as soon as we hang up, I'm going to uh, Sonic and getting a, a real fruit slush. But <laughs> that sounds so good. But... They, you, got uh, some, you got me wanting some Caribbean. You got me wanting some Jamaican food. Like I want some sorrel or the uh, yeah, yeah, some sorrel and some jerk chicken. That's what I jerk want. Jerk chicken. Right you know, now. you know what else is good? Brown stew chicken is delicious. Oh yeah, I, love brown stew chicken. I just, uh, brown I just got hip to it. Jerk and then curry. Yep. I just started eating brown stew like maybe a month ago. <laughs> I, and one of the comedians, Damon M. Cherry, he's always like, you need to try brown soup. You need to try brown soup. And I go to the same Jamaican place. And so I was like, I want brown soup. So they made it for me. And then when I was eating it, it wasn't spicy enough. I was like, I need that kick. Oh, so. no, it ain't spicy. That's what I love about it. It's like uh, spicy like jerk. But if I want spicy, I want jerk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Brown soup. And they put like these little like. They said that they got this guy that makes their peppers for them. And when they dry out, he makes like a, like a, like he, he dries out the vegetable and they, he makes like, like salt pepper and stuff like that out of it. 
So they gave me some as a little cake and I just sprinkled. Well, now they do it for me, but the first time I sprinkled it on and oh, I was like, this is so delicious. But yeah, wow. star. Yeah. They're all so now we're all hungry. Now yeah. I'm going to eat. <laughs> I'm about to eat because I haven't had, all I had today was my roast beef sandwich before the gym. So yeah, I'm going to eat as soon as now we get I'm off of here. I don't want to eat after the gym. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you're just getting started, so. Right, like, oh boy, yeah. I'm, I'm about to go down. Yeah, to go down. me too, so, me yeah. too. <laughs> this was a fun conversation, Star. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, I guess shifting gears. Tell me, like, what's your favorite, like, when you go to the gym, what's your favorite, um, machine so like what's your favorite thing to do at the gym I don't even so i have my i have a gym bag and in my gym bag I, like i said i have all my resistance bands with most of them i have all kind of gym gloves i even have like the ankle things that you put around your ankles to like do my booty and stuff like that but i have the little ankle um straps um there's some, oh i have my own like pad for the bar and so I love using the Smith machine because I can go over there and like completely do a full body workout on it. Like I can do my squats or I can do my arms. I can do my back. I can do my legs. Like I, I can do everything on a Smith machine. So that pad, cause some, I watched a video and some people say the pad is not good for you, but I need it. So, because, and I, I bruise, like you can see, like if I touch myself, I'm turning red and I hate it. So I need, Hmm. something because then it'll look like somebody was on my back like yeah beating I, mean, me. I, I didn't think there would be any harm in the cushion on the, i don't either the, uh, i love it barbell. Like, that's crazy that's crazy I didn't know that. yep they say it because it problem. they they say it makes the bar higher which makes sense then to me just adjust yourself so that's what i do <laughs> That's what so I did. They, they say that it makes you work harder. Like I don't. Yeah. Yeah. They um, said that the, it makes the bar so much higher than what it's supposed to be. Because they they say it's supposed to be more on, on like your lower back. But yeah. I don't know. I just adjust myself and work it out from there. But I need that cushion. But yeah, yeah. the Smith machine is long. The thing is, when you get to the gym, all the men got it. Like like they own the shit. That just drives me crazy. So that's why I like going to the gym early. Because mm -hmm. when I go later, like it's going to be a while before and then there's already people waiting for the machine so but yeah the smith the smith machine is like my favorite mm, nice. yeah what's your favorite oh yes what's my favorite mm. i really like um i really like the there's a at planet fitness they have like a circuit um they have like a little circuit machine. Um, ideally for like using like the cables to like, you know, help with like any arm oh, upper body yeah. workout. Mm -hmm. I really like doing that and like just creating like a variation of like, you know, bicep and tricep workouts. So um, you're on like the ropes and, yep, yep. okay, yeah. And I always end it with the ropes, I always end it with the ropes. Like, so. I just do like three parts of it instead of like all. All the way around. I think it's like six or seven parts of it. Well, if you go all the way around, but I only do three. Only See, do that's three. good. <laughs> See, the one by, so the gym, there's a gym by the studio. I usually go there when I gotta like hurry up and come back to the studio and do and do stuff. The one up the road, they're pretty much, they have that, the ropes and everything. Oh, mm -hmm. actually, you know what? The one in Pickerington, they just put it up there, but I don't know why it doesn't work for me. I could do the ropes like this, but mm -hmm. the ones where you, I'm not coordinated. They always like clack, 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 stop. <laughs> like, I'm like, what am I doing wrong? Cause it's, you know, you think all you gotta do is this, but, but they fuck up on me. So I don't, I don't touch those at, at all. At my old, at my old gym, the previous gym before this one, I was I would do the, uh, ropes, the, uh, yeah. Or I call it, I call it the whip. I don't, like, that, yeah. You know, whips to me. There, uh, those whips are, I, they don't ever, yeah, they don't that, like me. Woo. Yeah. I loved it. I miss it. I ain't gonna lie. I haven't seen them at uh, this Planet Fitness yet. I might have to explore because like, I got the black card now so I can go to different ones. Me too. I just got it. Well, I've always had one and then I stopped. Mm -hmm. And then in November, when my son started coming to visit, I was like, all right, I'm gonna have to get the black card. So I just switched over a few months ago myself. 
Yeah, I got it in November. And like the second best thing, my second favorite thing um, is why I have the black card, which is the massage chair. Oh, <laughs> hell yeah. Got that's to do that. Chair. Like that's a must for real. Cause it really like gets your back yeah. and just, yeah. yeah. Do you do the water one or do you do the, the regular chair? I do the water one, but I feel like every time I lay down, I itch and it's probably my, um, what is it, OCD? Cause I feel like how yeah. many people have laid here and, you know, and not wiped it down. Like, I feel like I just itch when I'm laying there. So I have, I always just do the chairs <laughs> anymore. Yeah, I, the water doesn't do it for me. The water never does it for me. Like the, the regular chair seems more like the chair machine. I don't know what else to call it. Like to me, it's more efficient. Like. I remember one time I had a crick in my neck and I went to the gym anyway. I was like, you know, I'm going away. Maybe it'll like work itself out. And um, like it was, it was starting to, you know, get a little better. And then like I used, I tried the water one. It just made the rest of my body hurt. <laughs> and then when I tried the regular chair, it got the crick out my neck and everything. Like I was good. I was good. <laughs> oh, star. I'm trying, I'm trying out here. I just gotta be consistent with everything. I think you do a good job because you'd be like, yeah. I went to the gym. Like we pretty much talk often yeah. and you go to the gym. So yeah. yeah. Yeah, so it's just, it's just like the main goal that I have now is to like focus on the targets instead of like, cause, I, cause if, at first I was going and then I was like, okay, whatever I feel like doing, mm -hmm. you know, of course to the fullest. But like, I'm just gonna do it and have fun with it, you know? So now it's more so like trying to be a bit more intentional, like go with more intention and more focus. See, that's what perfect. You? What's, your, what's your goal? What's your goal now? Uh, you know, I feel like my arms are so important to me because I don't, I have the, okay, so a long time ago I had oh, this guys. job. Yeah, so this, let me tell you why I got guns, okay? <laughs> a long time ago I had this job and I worked with older white women and they would stick their arm out and you know that flap, like they all had it and they had like conversations about it. And I was in my like twenties at the time and they had a name for it. And they always told me like, make sure you don't get this flab because as you get older and you go like this to your arm. So I always made sure like that's, that's what mm -hmm. you gonna get when I put my arm out. But some people mm -hmm. are like, jingle, 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 jingle. Like, yeah. I don't want that. Yeah. yeah, I can't have that. So I go and I like really concentrate on my arms and stuff. And then and then my um, inner thighs are like super important to me because I really worked it out. Cause I ain't gonna lie to you. I started seeing little crinkles and college cheese. Like it didn't get to college uh, cheese, but you know how you start saying, I'm like, oh no, like creases. That's what I mean. Like creases in my, inner, I said, oh, fuck that. Yeah, so yeah. I've been like doing squats, like crazy. That's why I got, that's yeah. why I try to go to the gym early so I can go ahead and get one of them Smith machines before all the men start coming in there and taking over and stuff. So I go in there and try to get that out the way because, yeah. yeah, I'm like, I, yeah. I'm already. Mm -hmm. I'm, yeah, like the thighs, yeah, that's important, you know, because like, you don't want to be like that meme out there that's talking about the nappy head part of the, like, <laughs> it's like, you don't want no nappy leggings in 2023. No, no not at all. <laughs> no nappy leggings. Yeah. Like, please, no. Oh. So you mentioned you mentioned the guys who be taking over the Smith machines. Like what like what type of like intervening do people be like getting you with whenever you go to the gym? So okay, I'm thinking about this one time I went to the gym and there's this lady, like some women are so funny. Uh this guy was like, This is what kills me. If you're gonna be on the on the machine, be on that fucking machine. Don't go here and go all the way down there and try to do everything else and then come back. That's not fair. You know what I'm saying? So one day I went and this guy, he had all his shit there, but I'm like, he's, and as he, I stood there cause I was like, is somebody here? Like you could tell whoever it was, either they left their stuff there or they had been gone for a while. Like I just didn't know. So I stood there, here he comes. I said, are you using this? And he was like, how long you, how many reps you gotta do? I'm like, I'm gonna be here. So he was like, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and move my stuff and let you do it. Like either that or we're gonna have to take turns. Cause you're, you know right. who said, while you're down there, I could, but he went ahead, got his stuff, let me get on. Then he go come back and ask me, am I almost done? Hey, you better get the fuck away from me. Like I'm in my zone. Mm -hmm. So luckily the machine next to me 
whoever was using it, they ended up leaving, so he just went over there. But I was trying not to fuck with him because he was like in there with somebody else, and he, they didn't talk right. You know, like they had like like I don't know, like it would have been a problem because like one dude, the other dude he was with Star, he, he was doing the same thing, right? He was on a Smith machine, then he would go over there and do the pull downs with the his with the rope. So this other guy went over there and started using the rope. And then the guy that he was with was like, ay, 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 ay. like, that's how he kind of talked. No. So I was like, I'm, and they was like yelling at each other. And then the other guy, the no. one that let me use his, he was dancing like, like in the gym, like he didn't care, right? So I was like, <laughs> oh, the challenge. yeah, I was like, they confrontational and they just, wow. <laughs> I'm not fucking with them. So I would like watch it. Because he was big too, like he like a, built like a frog. Like he had the arms and then he had the thighs. Then he was doing shit on the Smith machine. Like he was laying on his back and these are his feet, right? And he's like lifting the, I'm like, I'm the, but I couldn't keep my eyes off of him. Like he was like really entertaining because he, and he was like singing loud. Like he didn't give a fuck. So I, he was in the gym like that. So I was just like, amazed and I was like if he told me to move I'm gonna move because I ain't gonna be in here See, messing with and that's that's why I like my little circuit my little mini half crescent circuit whatever. Like nobody area, really yep nothing. you can completely like, zone out there completely like, except one time I'll have my one time I had my um I went and I was on a circuit right star so I have my my um this is my resistance band Mm -hmm. I have my motherfucking phone on top, right? Mm -hmm. Why did I look up? And I was like, watching this girl. And I was like, I know we ain't got the same shit. So I walked over to her. I said, excuse me, did you get that resistance band from over there? She's all like, yeah, like, bitch, you know that does not belong to the gym. Like, you come here as often as I do, and you ain't never seen those. They, no. I was like, that's mine. And she was like, no. oh, she tried to play it off. You know what the fuck you was doing? My phone was on top. That shit pissed right. me off, too. Like, when I'll touch my when shit. Stuck it's on top like whether it's a water bottle a phone whatever if it's sitting on top of a thing that means that thing is occupied don't touch it that thank you don't touch it. like don't wow, touch it it's the audacity for me like yeah you just um you see my phone is there it's not your phone why are you touching somebody else's phone then something that you don't even know belongs to the gym you sitting there trying to use it like man get out of here so i watched her too and, wow. and she like sprayed it. You know how they got the spray. So she sprayed it real good. Like you gonna have to before you get my shit back to me, boo. I will let you take it home and wash it, but no, just don't touch my shit again. Like that's not okay. I'm like, what would make her think that she could just like, what's wrong with people? But that's like a that's like gym one on one. Like shit sitting on top of this shit. Don't touch that shit. Don't, don't touch, touch it. None of that. Like if I especially if I see someone's phone sitting on top, I'm like that belongs to someone. I shouldn't. Oh, Not her. Ignorant there bitch. No. There was one guy at um, at my gym. He he had lost his phone. He had said it somewhere. I mean, that's the thing about Bluetooth. When you got Bluetooth and you're in the gym, if you gotta set your phone somewhere, if you don't have like an armband or a good pocket, you set your phone down and you start, you know, going from machine or going from place to place, you're gonna lose that phone, but you know, like, as far as people taking phones, that's a different Ugh. story. But regardless, he lost that phone and he was a sad puppy. Like, he just had his headphones standing, walking around, looking clueless. Looking so, someone clueless. took his phone then? I think, yeah, I think somebody took his phone. Oh. It was crazy. He, he asked me like two or three times, Are you sure you haven't seen the phone over here? And I'm like, I, no, sir, I'm sorry. Like, I was and he on, knows it I was, was on you. A bike that was like kind of next to that area, you know, like next to that um, the circuit area, and nothing, nothing. I didn't see no phone over there when I was setting my stuff up. Like nothing. Bad see, it's like you that keep track of that stuff. <laughs> yeah, I will because I usually have my phone in my Bluetooth. But wherever I go, my phone is gonna be right on the floor next to me. And then when I wipe down the machine, I'm gonna wipe down my phone from being on the floor. I'm not leaving my phone. And like, what would he expect though? Like, okay. I'm like, cause, cause I do have the um, attachment to where I can put my phone on my arm, but some days I just want to be free, especially if I'm going to be lifting. I don't want anything. I need my arms to just feel free. Like yeah. I can't have anything, but yeah, I'm not right. leaving my phone. Nah. I sweat too much for arm bands. I sweat too much. <laughs> I sweat. 
I can't. Like, oh no, I can't do it. Cause like, mm-hmm. I take it off. It's too heavy. I, no, no, it's nasty. It's nasty. I agree. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. I don't. I but barely you, wear you know, mine. When you you talking about like spraying and stuff down, like. What gets me is the folks who don't spray stuff down. Like this, is so disgusting. Disgusting. It is so. Disgusting. And then mm-hmm. you, I mean, it's past 2020. Like post 2020, that means spray down everything. That means spray down everything in general. Like that's what we were. That's what we spent that year doing. It was spraying disinfectant spray and like spraying things everywhere. Like, Man, there were there's some folks I've seen them just get up from the you know get up from the leg press or get up from you know whatever they were sitting on and just nasty you know, the next thing and not wipe anything down. Yeah, that drives me nuts. I watched a girl do it when she was on like a treadmill too down for me, and I'm so I see everything. I don't miss a beat, right? I'm looking at her like, are you good, for good? girl? I watch her just walk away and everything. I'm like, oh, uh, yuck. But some people know too. So some people do wipe them. I never think about it, but some people wipe the machine down before they get on it. So yeah, but that is pretty disgusting. Yeah. Um. So like, is there any, what other motivations do you have that like, you know, when it comes to like who you trying to like 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 what's your motivation or like who do you look to as far as like when you're working out? So that's a great question because today I really didn't feel like going to the gym, but I needed to go, right? And I just wanted to just lay lay there, lay down. I did not want to get up and do nothing besides like write you know, the stuff I have to write today. Mm -hmm. So when I got to the gym, this girl and I had a conversation about motivation. I said, you know what I do? I said, I look at old pictures of me and that's what gets me in here. Mm -hmm. And she was like, that's really a good idea. She was like, I didn't want to come here today. I said, I didn't either. But I pulled up my old picture, an old picture of me where I had on the skimpiest dress and I was in shape. (laughs) And I was like, get your ass in the gym. I said, another thing I do on my, like once I click on Pinterest, my um t- timeline or whatever it's called it's usually workouts or something about content creation either yeah. or but that's like once i scroll i'm like okay like that's all it really takes for me is to look at either my body or another girl that has a good body it has to be a woman a man's body is not going to motivate me to go to a gym i have to see a girl that actually looks like she works out and she looks good and I'm like, okay, I'm going to the gym because I need to look I, like that. I ain't gonna lie, like I feel you on that because like I, I'm the same way. But there is one guy who I always look at and I'm always like, wow, I need to go to the gym. And it's Kevin Gates. I don't know if you know who he yes, is. I love but him. Like his transformation was something else, and I was just like, oh my gosh. Like, Wait, Kevin? Tra- like he used to be out of shape, or he, yeah, he used to be a big boy. Oh, big boy. and you know, like his. He said that his moment, like I guess his aha moment as far as like going to the gym and losing weight was he was holding a fan's baby and the baby tried to like get milk out of him because he didn't have no choice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would have woke me up too. Damn, that would wake me up now. Like, <laughs> Yeah, like I'll... I'll... <laughs> You gotta uh-huh. look up Kevin Gates before his, before, you know, he became a gym rat. Cause you know, he a whole gym rat now, but like before that, he was a big fella. He was a big guy, you know? And so he was one that was like, that, you know, if, if I were to, if I saw him, I'd be like, damn, you know, I can go to the gym, you know? Every mm-hmm. time I think about that. But like in general though, it's more so, it's kind of workout based. Like I'll be on Instagram and it's like what you're talking about with Pinterest, like the algorithm will have like all these workouts come up and I'll be like, ooh, that looks good. Ooh, that looks like fun. Or, ooh, that looks like that's going to help me with my back. Or, ooh, that looks like it's going to like help me with my shoulders. I need to go to the gym. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> or, like the night before. Or, like, you know, Another gym. thing is like, especially when I do my pull downs, I always wonder if I'm positioning my body the right way. Mm-hmm. So I'll watch a video on it, like the proper way to do the hip abduction or the hip adduction or mm-hmm. pull downs, whatever. I watch videos and then I'm like, 
okay, I'm gonna go to the gym and like follow exactly what they're saying. So that's another thing that motivates me too. Sometimes I pull up videos when I'm at the gym, but barely. So I'll usually do it like before I go or something. But once yeah. I get it down, I'm like, oh, I gotta go do that. Yeah, like it's kind of hard though to like do it while you're there. Like yeah. I try to do it. Like I, I got this um this like um uh, workout fitness watch from Amazon and like it came with an app that had like all these different workouts on it. And I was like, I'm gonna go to the gym and try to do this at the I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. It was, you know, because there's so much going on at the gym itself. Like I'm not trying to stare at no screen. <laughs> yeah. Cause I, I like looked over this girl was like stretching, but she had her phone right there. And she was like mimicking someone's routine. And I was like, I, I would, I still wouldn't be able to do that. Even if I was just stretching, I couldn't do it, but I'm nosy. I think that's yeah, probably, no, that's... I, yeah, I'm nosy. Like I gotta look around. I gotta know who's around me. I look at the TVs, <laughs> I look at Judge Judy. Then I'm like, oh, Judge Mathis is on too. And then I'm looking at this person. Oh, who's that coming into the gym? I wonder if they paid their membership. Why are they at the counter so long? Like I'm that person. <laughs> Like I, <laughs> yeah, I'm that person. So I'm like, I'm paying attention to like everything. So there's no way that I want to stare at my phone and watch like a routine or anything. Do you ever but, catch people staring at you while you're working? Yeah, out? especially when I do my booty. <laughs> I, get on a, I get on the Smith machine and I bend over cause I try to like do mm -hmm. my glutes and like tighten the back of my thighs too. Mm -hmm. But I like to put on some extra weight. So I spread my legs, boom, have my, my, um, barbell and then I'm just like bending over and it it feels so good on my back too and I feel like I'm working out my stomach but mm -hmm. I've like I'm most Smith machines have like a mirror in the front and you could you can see yeah. people watching you yeah. <laughs> yeah especially when you're doing that ass they watching <laughs> how do you feel when, when you like see people looking you like like, yo, Star, you know who I am. I put on a show, man. I'll, <laughs> I'll pull my pants all the way up. Yeah, let them see. My... <laughs> I'm too much, but <laughs> I'm gonna give up a show. You won't, you won't watch? Okay, you're in the right yeah. spot, buddy. <laughs> oh man. Oh boy. No, don't watch me. Nope. Yeah. I I'll figure it like walk away. <laughs> another that's hilarious because I at first I used to be shy especially if I go to a new gym I'm super shy but once I go like once or twice I'm like fuck it I'm here and I'm gonna do what I need to do um one thing I do notice is like I'm always up where the weight machines are like the smith machine I'm doing everything I notice that I'm usually one of the only women that's up there most women are like mm -hmm. on the treadmill or they're on the hip abductions and I'm, I'm with the guys, I'm lifting my weights. And so I noticed like a lot of women are watching too. I do the treadmill, but it's more of like, all right, I'm about to go to the gym today and I'm just gonna walk on the treadmill for 30 minutes. That's it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I noticed that I'm, I don't, I barely see women lifting weights. Yeah. Yeah, it's very interesting. I mean, I see it a little more like on, on social media, but like as far as at the gym itself, um, I used to see it at the previous gym I was at, but not this one. Mm -hmm. They'll, um, like it's mostly the kettlebells or they're doing the leg press, you know, like the leg press machine, um, but not um, not like actually on the Smith machine. Yeah. And I'm like, get out the way, bitch. It's my turn. <laughs> and yeah, but I barely see women up there like, and so I see a lot of women staring at me too. I'm like, I wonder what they're thinking. Like, I wonder if they're like, cause today this lady was like, I, I just met her too. I, damn, I forget her name already. But she was like, if I see her, I might know who she is. But she was like, I'm gonna start working out with you. And I was like, you can. Aww, so that made me feel good. like, you know, yes. and I was like, yeah, the women are watching. So I hope I motivate them to get, get your ass up there. Don't be afraid. Don't feel like they're gonna outdo you. This is not a competition. I usually go to the gym by myself and I get in there, I know what I want to work on for the most part, and I just do it without fear. Word. Yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely, definitely ready to go to the gym. <laughs> Yay, it's that time. It's time for me to eat chicken wings. Like, I already, <laughs> <laughs> I already went to the gym. Now I'm going to eat some chicken wings. 
Cause like, that's exactly what I would do. It's like, go to the gym and then be like, all right, it's time for pizza and wings. Yep. It's Saturday too. But I, you know, I'm not gonna do it this week cause I had pizza yesterday. I mean, not pizza. I had wings yesterday. So I'm not gonna do it this time. I'm gonna let it go. Skip on the pizza and wings. The Super Bowl is over. Super Bowl is over. I, see, that's a good mindset. I don't have that. I'm yeah, like- I'm on football. I'm on football to watch. <laughs> I'm so terrible. <laughs> that is so good, Star, because I'm already like, I'm going to eat wings today. Tomorrow, I know I'm going to Chipotle. Like, I, I always know what I'm yes. eating the next day. I love Chipotle. Me good too. Salads. I love good salads. And I have a oh. I have a gift card, so I'm going to use it tomorrow. Ooh, look at you. Yeah. I mean, it's like $15 for a salad now. I remember when it was like eight. <laughs> I know. I remember when Chipotle was like six bucks. Like, ugh. Yeah. That's what makes it. That's what. That's why it's so hard to consistently do clean eating and like clean dieting because it's so expensive now. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. It's crazy expensive. You know what else sounds really good right now? I should not even be talking about this, but a freaking Reuben from Penn Station sounds delicious. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, it would be so bad if I got a small one. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do I think that. I might get a salad do to go with it or something. I don't know. He so sorry, you all, see, you always help me. You always well, help me. You no, know, some balance in there. Yeah. Balance. Not, I was thinking, I was thinking so. chips. I'm like, I already got the chips. I'm just going <laughs> to. Yeah, see, but you already got some chips. So you yeah. Got some. But I need, I do need like, oh, I do got some mandarin oranges in the fridge. So mm -hmm. I can mm -hmm. eat some oranges today. Mm -hmm. I'm just thinking that, that does sound. Yeah, it does. Thank God for my gift card. <laughs> now I got a Reuben on my mind. I'm like, Ooh. <laughs> but yeah, stars. So you're on your way to the gym? Yeah, I'm about to head out to the gym. I'm about to head out to the gym. Yeah, so yeah, I'm about to head to the gym. I'm about to head to the gym now. <laughs> All right, star. Let's go. Awesome. Have fun. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'll talk to you later. Okay.